How are you feeling? I'm just thinking a lot about dicks. But I think you planted this into my head. Yeah. Welcome to Inside My Mind, where we get into celebrities' heads to see what's really going on in there. Not sure what's going to happen here, but let's go with it. How's it going? It's Trey, once again. Today I'm here with actor, comedian, mm. musician, mm. tall man. That's the only accurate one, for okay. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah Flula Borg. Hello, Trey. And we're going to go inside Flula's mind today. What? So just like, you know, kind of lean back. Close your eyes. Okay. And start just like breathing deeply. From my nose or what, what hole do I use? In through your nose, out through your mouth Got is usually it. the easiest. And I want you to become very, very aware of the breaths you're taking and how the air moves in through your body and then out of it. Reminds you of the vast expanse of who you are. And as you do this, just become aware of the room that's forming around you. Just keep your eyes closed, keep the breathing, but tell me what this room looks like. It's a cabin of wood, like, uh, like Abraham Lincoln has constructed it with a lot of the cherry trees that he chopped down two weeks ago. Tell me about the windows in here. Tell me about the doors. There is one door, uh, but it is beads. It's a beady door, like you see in all of the like hippie houses. I want you to walk out that door really quickly. The beaded door? The beaded door. Uh, right now we are on an island. So what's going on on the island? There is a luau and Patrick Swayze is there with canoe reefs. A motorcycle is there as well. What's up on that motorcycle? I don't have a helmet to try. Hmm. Never mind, I fashioned one from a coconut. So now that we have your coconut helmet on your motorcycle, just rub that baby up and get out of here. Boom, boom. What's the sky look like? Oh, it's nighttime now. There's a large dipper is there, the small dipper is there. The, the horse from TriStar Pictures is there. It's a unicorn. I want you to ask the unicorn if it's okay to ride it. Is it okay if I may ride you? He has nodded. How's it feel on the unicorn's back, galloping across the water? It's nice. I still am wearing my coconut helmet. Where's the unicorn taking you? A Pittsburgh. Tell me about Pittsburgh. What's going on in there? It's my first time, and I'm very happy that Jonathan, the unicorn, is taking me there. We are we're trying to find Jerome Bettis. A Hall of Famer? Hall, yeah. Sorry, I'm perspiring. It's very warm in Pittsburgh. But we are now galloping very quickly to a, a house. But no, it's not a house, it's a bus. Oh, well. It's a school bus. And Jerome Bettis is there. He's baked us cookies. Oh, nice. Yeah, what kind of cookies? Snicky doodles. Why don't you take a few more bites of cookie and ask Jerome Bettis to drop you and Jonathan off? Oh. He heard you. All right. So this is what I want you to do. Jerome Bettis, if you're listening to me. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, you'll be fine doing this. Drive the bus straight into the lake. Mm -hmm. I want you to find a cave, some kind of opening. I've located a grotto. All right. I want you to find something in the grotto. OK. What do you see when you look around? I see it. Everything is in 8-bit, so it's very pixelated. I can't tell if this is a, a dildo or a hot dog. The pixels are too large. Let's, uh, let's explore the grotto a little bit more. I see a, a, like a playground with a seesaw and the swings. Let's get on the swings real quick. OK. I want you to swing as high as you can. And once you get as high as you can, yeah. I want you to jump off. And don't worry, you're going to keep flying. Oh. And I want you to fly out the sky. You're coming back to us. Oh. How's it feel? Good. Good. Have I arrived? I don't know. Have you? Only you know. Just open your eyes. I think you have. Welcome back. Thank you, Trey. How much was this session? Um, how much are those shoes? Uh, these uh, $42. That's enough. 
He wants the shoes. I mean, unless you got forty two dollars. No. All right. Appreciate you doing this, man. Thank you, Trace. It was a wonderful time. Let's go get you some snickerdoodles or something like that. I mean, okay. No. Get, get comfortable, get relaxed. Yeah. The sound is nice, Trey. Mm. What, are, what are we doing? Oh, yeah.